advantage of the bond system and the rewards will be endless. What's good YouTube, no good even here. Come with you today with a nice quick little bonds guy. But guys, I feel like I've really cracked the bond system and the best way you guys want to go ahead and upgrade your hunters, whether if they're not upgraded, if you want the endless rewards, if you want the unlimited essence stones and gold, draw tickets, gems, whatever the case may be. But before we get into the end of that, if you like the content, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you can know each and every time we go live. And last but not least, join the Discord server, the No Good Mafia. Now, guys, uh, let's waste no time. Let's get straight into it, honestly. So I'm on the free to play account because I already claimed all the rewards on the pay to win. So when it comes to bonds, guys, bonds is basically just another way that Netmarble is giving us as players rewards based on our hunters. Honestly, really bonds really don't matter. I thought they did, but let's say if you have here, right? We have Wujin, Chul, and Kang. That's a bond because they know each other. Whatever the case may be, you got Juhi, Song, and uh, the hell is his name? Kim, right? So based off of, you know, each and every one of these, there's a different bond between every one of these characters, right? Anyways, the main point here, the main point here is you guys will get various awards based on whether it's an SSR or it's an SR character. You will get a reward based on their level and their advancement. And what that means is the higher level your hunts are, the more rewards you'll be able to get. And now this differs. So let's go ahead and talk about this right now. This differs between SSRs and SRs. So if we just scroll down the rewards here, level 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. For SSRs at level 80, this is probably the more important one. You're getting a tier three gem. Now let's look at the SR characters. Here looks like some essence, some essence. Uh, what is this? A tier one gem, and then the rest just custom draw tickets. So keep that in mind. Now let's look at advancements. On an, on the advancement side, we got the mana power elixir, uh, skill rune, right? Some blessing powder, some hunter mana elixir two. The SR side, we have mana power elixir one. And then Mana Power Elixir 2, go a little bit lo lower, and then we have Rune Fragment. So guys, depending on whether you have a lot of SSRs, a lot of SRs, this will definitely come into play. If you do have a lot of advancements on SR characters that you're not using, you might want to use them. And here's why. And let's talk about upgrading them as well. When you guys obtain a character, you'll be able to get 10k gold just off the rip. As we can see here, we have Juhi and I have about almost all of her advancements. I got her at tier seven here. So that's getting me an entire rune because this is 60 plus 60, that's 120. We're getting a good amount of mana power elixirs one and two. Now let's talk about her level. Now, when it comes to her level, I'm getting uh, up to the level 50 rewards because I have her at level 50. I'm capped out at level 55 currently, so it really doesn't matter for me, but I eventually will get to level 80 and then I would want her to bring her up for these nice little three custom draw tickets. But let's say you guys think, oh, I don't have the gold to, you know, upgrade these characters. That's perfectly fine for the SRs. Now let's talk about the SSRs because this one I kind of found out on my own. So guys, if you have an SSR and let's say you don't even use them, you still want to upgrade them at least to level 40. Now here's where you can kind of abuse the bond system, right? So look at this one. We have Choi Johnny. Uh, really all of these are SSR hunters, but we have Choi Johnny. By reaching level 40 with Choi Johnny, we get right 10K, 100K, that's 110, right? And then 20K just for getting him. That's 130,000. Now let's go to Lim Tay. Now Lim Tay, as you can see here, I have not leveled up Lim Tay when I drew him on my free to play stream at all. But let's say I wanted to upgrade him. Let's go to Lim Tay real quick. Go to the hunter side. Let's say I wanted to upgrade him specifically just for bonds. We're gonna go from level one strictly to level 40. So that's 151,000 gold. We're gonna go ahead and do that for video purposes. Let's go right, right back though. Now, when we go back to Lim Tay, I know that just costed 151,000, but let's claim the 100,000. Now that costed 50,000. Let's claim the 10,000. Now that costed 40,000. Let's claim the 20,000 just for getting him. 
now that cost it 20,000. So guys, honestly, you're getting a good return on investment because you're getting 150 essence stones per SSR characters. And there's a, you know, a bunch of them, right? If we got all of these ones, that's 300, 600, 750, just by this various bonds here. With the game being, you know, just released in the last month or two, there are gonna be more and more SSR characters that's gonna release, guys. So you definitely wanna take advantage of this, being that when it comes to drawing, you're gonna get whatever the system gives you, right? It's all RNG. So you definitely wanna at least level up your hunters to level 40, even if you don't use them. That's on the SSR side. Now, when it comes to the SR characters, honestly, I feel like level 40 also isn't bad, but you're not getting that same return on investment. Like I wouldn't upgrade Huang, right? Just for what's that 300 essence stones. Now you might be interested in that, you know what I mean? But I personally don't want to recommend it. Now, what I would recommend is getting a lot of advancements for your characters, because when you're drawing, let's say you're doing 10 pulls, you're going to end up getting SRs regardless. Every time you get SRs, you're not going to get the desired SR that you actually want. Let's be real. So if we go to our hunters once more, let's find somebody that, let's say Kim. If I wanted to get him all the way to A5, that would just cost 43,000. That's not a lot for SRs. Now, if we go back to bonds, for every SR character we talked about a little bit earlier, but at tier five, you're getting Hunter Mana Power Elixir 2. And that's pretty good. But if you have even more dupes past A5, this is where it actually gets really, really nice with the rewards. On the SR side, you're getting rune fragments. You get to anywhere past tier seven, and you already got a free rune. Let's say you get all of these, man. That's what, 300 rune fragments because there's five of these. That's three free runes every 10 tiers. Now, you'd have to be doing some crazy pulls to get to 10 tiers. So it's not like it's really feasible, at least to start. But guys, as you guys are playing the game, you're going to get more and more custom draw tickets, whether you're getting it through challenges, whether you're just playing the game, using your essence stones, whatever the case, really. So just keep that in mind. Now, when it comes to advancements on the SSR side, you a thousand, a thousand, a thousand percent want to do this. I mean, if you have advancements for SSR characters, I don't know why you're not advancing them. But I mean, I'd understand if it was Wu Jin Chul or something. But uh, <laughs> just just when it comes to advancements on the SSR side, you at least at least want to get these to tier two, guys, because you're getting a skill premium rune chest and that's going to get you any one of these runes like a, a for sure rune not a rune fragment you're gonna get a thousand percent of rune and the more advancements you get the rewards on this is very very lovely guys because you're gonna get blessing powder after you get them a5 so that's that's full 50 that's a full blessing stone guys this is honestly insane now this is definitely geared more towards the pay to wins because who's really gonna get you know multiple ssr characters all the way to a10 it's gonna take a lot of grinding on the game on the free to play side but this is a guide for both honestly you guys definitely want to be going ahead and abusing the bond system like this because as we just showed the best way to get the best rewards for ssr characters is through advancement so you just got to keep on drawing now when you're getting sr hunters up to level 40 you'll be able to get 300 essence stones each and every time so keep that in mind there's many many sr characters right so you guys will definitely get i i haven't even done the calculation but if we go to our codex let's just say we want to do the calculation right now we have three six nine twelve 13 hunters we have 13 hunters you're getting 300 each and every time that's 13 26 you're getting 3900 essence stones in total that's a little bit over a 10 one if i did that myself i'd be near I'd be at 10,000 essence stones. So guys, honestly, this is very, very feasible. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts below and we're at it. Be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe, turn on post notice, all that good stuff, and join the Discord server, the No Good Mafia. And with that, I am out. Peace.